Hello to the readers of Guitarist and Bass. This is Carl Verheyen. I'm here in uh, Paris getting ready to play a show tonight at uh, Le Petit Journal Montparnasse. And um, I'm on tour with my band. We've been out here for about a month now. We have about five more shows to go. And we're going to play in four countries in four nights. Tonight's France, tomorrow night's Belgium, the next night is Germany, and last night was the Netherlands, where we did a show with my friend John Schofield. So um, I'm going to talk you through uh, my touring rig that I use with my band in Europe, and I have a very similar setup in the United States. Um, a little more vintage stuff in LA, but uh, here I keep um, about five or six amplifiers, um, a few guitars, a rack, and um, an acoustic guitar, all the cables I need, and the only thing I come to Europe with is a pedal board. So my clean sound is basically, this is my signature Stratocaster made by LSL. My clean sound is a... Uh, uh, It's basically uh, the guitar straight into a wah-wah pedal, then it goes into an AB box. And the AB box is made by Burkhard Leila from Germany. And he made it in such a way that I don't have to look down and find B or A. Instead, one button is A, push it again, it's B. So my, I can play and sing and never look down. My foot can just sit right over the top of the pedal and when I push that button, I'm in my distortion channel. I can play a lead line. And it's in a completely different rig. It's a, the, the, the distortion rig is different pedals and a different delay and two different amps. So the clean goes just through, um, through, the, through the pedal and then the AB pedal. And then I, I do use one distortion device on the clean side. And that's a Zen drive made by a friend of mine named Alf. Um, wait a minute. Alf. Hermedia, Alfonso Hermedia. So if you want to hear what the Zen drive sounds like, it might get a little bit loud. But I use, I use that only when I want to put a little bit of hair on the Fender Twins. For the most part, I keep the Fender Twins perfectly clean. I like to hear... that kind of real bright, shimmery, clear tone. Now when I go to my distortion side, I go through four more vo uh, distortion pedals, and they are um, a Landgraf pedal, which is this one here, an Il Distore, which, Il Distore, which is an Italian pedal that's my signature pedal, uh, which is this one. I have a, a, a turbo drive overdrive made by RPG electronics and then I have a pro Octavia for an Octavia sound so I'm actually sitting right in front of my 4 by 12 so I'm gonna stand up to play that so my left ear doesn't get killed so here we go <laughs> So that was the Il Distissore pedal. Uh, the turbo drive is a little fatter. It sounds like this. The Landgraf pedal is a little nastier, but it's a very, very clear representation of, of what the guitar sounds like. It doesn't, doesn't color it too much, just distorts it. That sounds like this. And the last thing I have, which I use very, very rarely, is a Pro Octavia made by Voodoo Labs. And that pedal sounds like this. It's just kind of a nasty little pedal to use once in a while. So, And then I have a Dunlop Wah Wah pedal. Um, I use T-Rex power supplies everywhere I go. I always use them. I have five pedal boards and, 
and I have a T-Rex power supply on every one of them. Because they, they, you, you can switch them from American 120 to European 2, 220. And uh, I have a big pedal board I use with Super Tramp. It's, it's twice as big as this. And it's actually got a Layla 3 channel switcher. So I have an A, which is the Fender Twins, a B, which is a Dr. Z and Marshall, and a C, which is another amp. It can be anything and it's my power chord amp. You know, I just use it straight out for power chords and when I have to play bass lines. And that's good because with Super Tramp, there's a lot, of, um, a lot of times when you have to double the bass with distortion. And what you don't want is to have that be your solo sound. I would rather have my solo sound be special, you know, so. My, my entire rig is, uh, is wired with Providence Cable. It's a cable company out of Japan and they make lots of different varieties of cable and they make Cables for live, cable for the studio, and I really like them. So all my snakes to the various amps and stuff are, are, are with these Providences. So anyway, here's a Dr. Z, a SRZ 65 amp. I'm a fan of these guys. Dr. Z, I've got three or four of his amps back in LA, and I keep one in Europe. And then um, my, dirty, my distortion sound goes through this lexicon. PCM 41. I don't think they make these anymore. They haven't in a long time, but they're really nice, warm analog delays. Then I have two Lexicon MPX 100s. But before I tell you about that, speaker out into a hot plate made by THD. This is a power attenuator and a line level out. The line out feeds this and then goes into the effects return of an amp. And dry out of this gets attenuated, meaning turned down, and goes straight into a speaker. So my 4x12 cabinet is wet dry. So then, but my clean sound goes straight into these, two different delay units. One I might use it for an effect, like some chorus or something like that once in a while, but for the most part I just use it for delay. And I have ping pong delay so that my, my sound goes ding, 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 ding. And uh, when I play tunes that are in 3-4 or 12-8 or something, I can set it as a triplet delay. Ba -da 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 -da. And that goes straight into the two amps. So it's very simple. I, un I know the signal path and I understand it. If I, if I show up in a, in a club or a, a concert hall where there's a little bit of noise, like this place, it has a little buzz, I put one of these Lely uh, isolation transformers. It's called a P-split. And what it does is it, um, it, it, it has a few buttons on it. I'm not sure how it works, but it lifts the ground or isolates it so that the sound is, uh, that you can get rid of all the buzzes and stuff like that. And that's basically a very simple rig, A, B. A is the two twins, clean. B is the Dr. Z and this big head over here, which is a Framus or Framus head. And uh, I'm just using this as an echo return. So I come into the back of the effects loop and power one half of this cabinet. And I put some Celestian uh, Gold 12s, I think they're 30 watt 12s in there, uh, which really upgraded the sound. So that's it.